Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here at Joe Boo's Man Cave. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hope everybody's having a great, finally, freaking Friday. We've got our live stream in about two hours from now. And uh, I'm taking it easy, catch, catching my breath. I'm actually back home uh, here. I look forward to being here more um, as the season gets here and stuff. Now that we are winding down on having the red brick house and stuff put together. And we have gotten some movement or at least some confirmation of some possible movement by the Dallas Cowboys in trying to get their shit together. Now, there's no word of anybody coming in for a workout today. We had heard rumors uh, that Michael Thomas was supposed to come in for a workout, uh, possibly Justin Simmons as well. But we've heard nothing to the contrary uh, about anybody coming in so far today. And if it does, we'll be sure to let you know. In the meantime, we did have Stephen Jones. We talked about this first thing this morning about Stephen Jones, you know, basically going on and saying that he's got to be Houdini to try and get these contracts done, but believes that he's going to be able to get them done and he, that they've had conversations with Dak as well as with Todd Francis' agent. And this is an extra, actually an interesting take from uh, First Things First um, on what the Cowboys are trying to do and possibly Stephen Jones by going on that air and saying things that he did. This actually makes sense that he's basically trying to guilt trip Dak Prescott into thinking that if he takes them to the cleaners, that they're not going to be able to afford other people around him, which is kind of the same thing that he did before where he said, you know, Dak's got to understand that he, he's got to leave some of the pie for everybody else, you know, at being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys affords you all kinds of extra benefits. Okay. Listen to this now. I don't think they're going to have a top three defense to lean on with that this season. We are optimistic that we can get this done. We are having conversations with his agent and with Dak personally and both Jerry and myself. He knows our goal is to keep him here. Okay, great. Brew, what are the chances Dak doesn't sign with Dallas? All signs pointing towards that he does. I, I feel like it's becoming clear to me what's happening. In these negotiations, the Cowboys, because, I, you know, I listen to more of what Steven said beyond that quote. Mm -hmm. They're just – what they're trying to do is convince Dak if we give you $60 million or whatever, we're not going to be we're able to keep to the team together. We're going to have to trade CD or right. something. Yeah. And so I don't think they're trying to get him to go below 50, but they're, I think they're like, you got to give us some type of haircut so we can keep all these guys around you. Look at Mahomes. I think they're saying, look at Mahomes. Not taking every last dollar that he can get, and they're winning Super Bowl. So – they're hoping Dak bends to that. And I think – I don't think that's an untenable pitch to Dak. Like, Dak isn't Mahomes, so I think that's fair. But Dak is also well within his rights, which it seems where he's going. Like, I want every last dollar. And I think it's because he's a bit – I wouldn't say fed up with the Cowboys and the way they do their <laughs> business, but I think he's like – I, maybe I, I can go somewhere else. I'm not totally hitched to the Cowboys anymore. And so I think he's going to hold out for every last dollar. And guess what? I think the Cowboys are going to pay him before the season. Go ahead, well, I think Jerry will cave. The, no, well, I, I have the highest paid QBs. If I'm Dak, I like, and I agree with you, bro. Like, nah, man, I want 60. Yeah, so, I'm not getting Trevor Lawrence money. Don't try to give me Trevor Lawrence money. So that's <laughs> the, at the same time. 55. Like, huh, am I better than Lamar Jackson? He's making... He's not better than Burrow, the, Jackson. So that's the thing. I don't, I don't know where you want him to end up. The, this is not about, you know, my affection and correct evaluation of the Prince. Uh, but the Prince's contract has really screwed some things up for some a couple teams. I think the reason Jordan Love doesn't have a deal yet is because of Trevor Lawrence. And I think one of the reasons Dak doesn't have a deal yet is because of Trevor mm. Lawrence. Because I do think... He that has those teams, messed up when the market. It was Joe Burrow up there, they were like, he's been to a Super Bowl, yeah. and yep. it was the number one pick. And a you know what I mean? That was, yep. team that but was now you got Trevor Lawrence, who was yeah. the number um, one pick. The Herbert thing is maybe a, was a little tougher sell, but at least you had Burrow on the top end, and it's like, look at what Lamar's getting. When Trevor got five for 275, Jordan Love, I, I know this is about Dak, and I'll bring no, it back it to him, sense. but Jordan Love's like, Oh, one great season, one playoff win? Me too. 
So yeah. why would you yeah. not pay me? And so I great point. Because everybody thought Jordan Love would be done by now, and it's not. Dak is in even stronger position because he knows a year from now. I will hit true Absolutely. free agency. You can't tag me. Mm-hmm. You can't trade me. So, so okay. I, I so I just I don't think it's going to get done, Brew. That's why because I think Dak is going to get an unprecedented. You don't think Jerry will cave? No, because that's don't. been his history. I don't think. All right, so how about this? Yeah, fifty-five. I'm going to give you a dollar more than Trevor Lawrence. Okay. fifty-five and a dollar, mm-hmm. or you can get sixty from the Giants and yeah. maybe make the playoffs. See, so we're the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, so Giants I, are a bad example. No, Giants but it is, Lions, but it's not a bad York, example right. because here's the thing. They'll be the looking for a quarterback. They'll be looking for him. The Raiders, who have real history and it's in Vegas. The Steelers, a marquee franchise. The Giants, super marquee franchise. And by the way, with Two of I'd those, say New with Orleans. Steelers, you would be with Mike Tomlin. And with the other two, you might be with Bill Belichick. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe okay. here. To get- so, live from- so that's an interesting take on that situation here. Um, Trevor Lawrence did screw the whole thing. I mean, from it's kind of like when Deshaun Watson got his uh, fully guaranteed contract. It was like, okay, now everybody's looking at that saying, I want a fully guaranteed contract. Um, but you can't do that. So now you've got Trevor Lawrence, who has had one good season. Um, he does have a playoff win, but I'm not going to say that that was a good win because he had five interceptions in the game. He did have five TDs, but he had five interceptions. Fortunately for him, his defense, after going down 27 nothing, held uh, Justin Herbert and crew to three points to the rest of the game. So you don't necessarily look at that and say they won because of Trevor Lawrence. I mean, if you got five interceptions, five TDs, basically that's a wash. But be that as it may, the Cowboys are in a bad position where they don't have much wiggle room that it's literally, you know, it's it's on deck. If they end up, if he decides, you know what, I am going to try and do a, a Tom Brady or a Pat Mahomes, and I'm going to leave money on there. That's solely on Dak because he wants to do that. There's no way that the Cowboys have any leverage whatsoever, and that's to their making because they're not good at actually writing contracts. So I think Dak, if I'm Dak Prescott, if I am going to take less money, I need to know that you're going to do something more with the money that I'm leaving to make us a better team to give me a chance to win a Super Bowl. Because at this point in Dak Prescott's career, the only thing that he really needs is a Super Bowl ring. Uh, You know, I'm sure he'd like to have more money, but if you're saying, Dak, you can get a big pile of money or a Super Bowl championship, which one do you want at this point? I'm betting that he would take the Super Bowl championship because with that Super Bowl championship and everything that he's already done, uh, he'll turn and make even more money than what he does right now. And that's what I think has to be the focus for Dak Prescott at this point, realizing that he is getting older and you only have but some more years left. All right, good people.